Alright everyone, welcome back to the second episode of using every single gun in the game for 100 kills. In today's video, we're going to be picking it up where we left it off last video and completing the second half of all the assault rifles. If you're not familiar with this series already, basically I'm going to be going through every single class in the game, every single gun in each class, and getting 100 more kills with them. So it's going to be a very long series, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. And yeah, I don't really want to drag the intro out too long, so let me just get right into the guns. So we left it off with the AK-47 last video, and the very first gun in this video is going to be the AUG A3. So I started with 439 kills on the AUG A3, so I've used it a little bit, obviously not too much. And in my opinion, this feels very similar to an AUG A1. It's really, um, it's really not too much different. Any differences between the two guns are really minuscule, like, they have a little bit different damage, but the shots to kill are almost the same. The AUG A1 does have a little bit better damage ranges, though, but the AUG A3 does have a little bit more fire rate. And if I recall correctly, it does have a bit better accuracy as well. I'm not too sure on that. But as far as the AUG A3 itself, it didn't really feel too special to me. I really didn't enjoy it too much more than the AUG A1. And I already told you guys in the first episode, I don't really like the AUG A1. It's kind of just boring. It, it gets the job done for sure. However, it's just not really too fun to use. And so last time I did get a suggestion to include like a fun score for each gun. Basically like rating how fun the gun is to use. And for the AUG A3, I'm going to probably give it like a 5. Like it's very good. I would say, but it's just kind of, you know, bland. There's nothing really to it. And so for the next gun, we do have the L85A2. And so I started with this gun with only 110 kills. So I clearly haven't used this gun very much, but as everyone's been telling me, this gun was really, really good. So it's not really a gun that you're gonna see in close range too often. It's it's kind of got a pretty average fire rate, only 700 RPM, and the damage is 28. So it's not really a three shot. So it's really not too impressive at close range. However, okay, this gun has a four shot all ranges and the recoil is just very easy to control. So, you know, decent fire rate, four shot all ranges, no recoil, makes this gun absolutely insane at like medium to long range. And that's definitely where I found this gun excelling. Like I thought it worked okay in close range, but I really like, I really saw my enemies basically being beamed at long range. And um, it was honestly super fun to use. And with only 110 kills to start out, I really had no idea how good this gun was. I would definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it. Like I know a lot of people who do consider this one of the best assault rifles, if not the best. So yeah. and. In terms of fun, I would say probably an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Honestly, super fun to use. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so for the next gun, we have the HK416, which is actually a very controversial gun. So I have used this gun quite a bit in the past. I had over a thousand kills, 1053 to be exact. So I'm pretty familiar with the gun. And I do hear a lot of people either praising this gun or calling it overrated. And I would kind of honestly be in the middle. I think people do call it overrated because it kind of doesn't have the best recoil. It, there's a lot of side to side and it's just kind of violent, you know? But honestly, there's a super simple fix to that. Just don't use it at long range. There's no need to you have 850 fire rate and really good damage ranges it doesn't three shot but the damage ranges are good enough to the point where you get a four shot up to like a very very like good range and you're not really going to be needing this gun at long range anyways with the recoil like i i think i did the best with this gun out of any gun in this entire series so far i literally got 230 kill streaks in the same game using this gun it was amazing and yeah with the fire rate like honestly i could just use this gun all day i don't really see too much wrong with it and i don't consider it necessarily the best assault rifle but definitely one of my favorites and uh in terms of fun i would call it a 9 out of 10 it's just man i've really loved using this gun all right, so the next one in this list is going to be the AK-74. So I only started with 388 kills with this, so really not too much. It was honestly surprisingly good. I um I would kind of classify this as more of like a, you know, I don't really want to try hard today, but I still want to play well type of gun. Like that's kind of what it felt to me. It's got kind of a lower than average fire rate, only 650 RPM, though it does have a three shot at close range. So I would really actually recommend using it at close mediumish range. Damage ranges are good enough to the point where if you're not at close range, you can still Still maintain a three shot up to like 70 or 75 studs and yeah the recoil is just very manageable so honestly a good medium range gun i wouldn't really call it the best but um yeah it was overall pretty solid i would give it probably a six or a seven in terms of fun didn't have as much fun using it as like the hk416 but still a really good gun nonetheless 
All right, so moving on, the next gun is going to be the AKM. And I have used the AKM quite a bit. I had 1140 kills to start out with it. And the AKM is basically just an AK-47 with a little bit less close range damage and a little bit more long range damage. But the recoil seems definitely more tame. And yeah, this gun, kind of like the AK-47, is very insane at close quarters combat. Two shot kill to the head at close range. I think if you put on, let me check on this. Yeah, so the difference between this and the AK-47 is that the AK-47 can put hollow point to get a two shot limb but the akm cannot so that's kind of the only reason why it's a little bit less useful than the ak-47 but still really really good um it's got essentially the same other traits as the ak-47 good damage ranges really good base damage obviously um pretty lowish fire rate though but yeah if you're looking for like a very very powerful gun that you can just mow people down with definitely a good choice i really love this gun but yeah in terms of fun i'd probably give it an eight all right, so the next gun is the AK-103. I didn't have too much kills with this either. I only had 220 to start out. But yeah, the AK-103, or as I and many people like to use it, the AK-109 is a very good gun in my opinion. I started using the AK-103 just for a few kills, but I switched to the AK-109, which if you don't know, you just put a bars barrel on and it kind of like gives you different recoil and like, uh, it's essentially no camera recoil, but it's very fun to use. Brings your damage down a little bit, but with the 850 fire rate, it's not too much of an issue this gun definitely does excel at close range like i can definitely say that especially with that fire rate i think uh i think you shouldn't have too much trouble using this and the recoil although it kind of has a lot of horizontal there's no camera recoil at all and pretty much no vertical recoil either so it's very like it's actually very easy to use as long as you're close enough i was getting tons of kills with this on metro like it, it was crazy not really too much else to say about it i do enjoy the gun a lot and in terms of fun i would also probably give it an eight much like the ak am but yeah pretty solid Okay, next gun is a TAR-21. I started with only 284 kills, so not too much. And honestly, the TAR-21, I think, is a little bit, like, really, I don't really know what to think about it. The damage ranges are obviously pretty good, but the damage itself isn't too great, and that's kind of why I don't really get this gun. It does have really good fire rate, though, 850 RPM, so that's a one plus I could find, but the recoil felt a bit much, in my opinion. A little bit much for only 29 damage and 22 at long range. Really not too sure what this gun like supposed to be used for i couldn't really figure it out while i was using it i think it's good at close range because like it's got a four shot up to a decent range 120 ish studs i kind of felt like the recoil was just too much for me i started out with not too many kills on this gun and pretty much no knowledge and i kind of ended up the same way really not too sure how to feel about this gun but it was kind of just an oddball in my opinion but yeah anyways in terms of fun i really didn't find myself enjoying this more than a couple other guns so i'd probably give it a six all right, but yeah, so the next gun is gonna be the Type 88 or, you know, the North Korean AK, as I like to call it. So I started out with 289 kills with this. And yeah, so the Type 88, I felt like this gun was terrible. So the two things about it are that like, it's just very weird because of the tube mag. You get 75 bullets per mag, which is weird. And that's supposed to be the good thing about the gun, but the fire rate is only 650 RPM. So I didn't really enjoy it too much. And the recoil is just all over the place. It's not like up and down. It's it's not side to side it's more circular and i really didn't like that it's not even circular it's just kind of random so honestly it just wasn't worth using until i put this conversion on i definitely had to put the 762 conversion on brings your damage up to like ak range you know 41 base damage really really good it's actually able to two shot to the head at close range with this conversion and the recoil doesn't even change with this conversion from what i'm aware of so really i see no reason not to use this it does bring your mag down to like 30 but honestly i didn't really enjoy the 75 mag like it didn't really like give me anything because i was just missing all the time and with that slow of a fire rate it just wasn't worth it but i did actually find once i put on the conversion the gun was actually pretty decent so i didn't think it was the best because the recoil is bad i'd just much rather have like an ak-47 or an akm over this but maybe it was my setup who knows but yeah in terms of fun i didn't really enjoy it too much so i'm gonna give it a five it wasn't the worst with the conversion let's just say that so, um, the next gun is gonna be the M231, and yeah, I had a lot of kills starting out with this gun, 2304 to be exact, and yeah, this gun was actually super fun to use, like, I mean, I have a lot of kills with it for a reason. The gun is insanely dominant at close range, probably the best close range gun in the game, so it's got a three shot all the way up to, like, a hundred studs. Obviously, the elephant in the room is gonna be the recoil is quite insane, and obviously the fire rate too with the 1225 RPM, bro, that's pretty insane, but yeah, like, it's kind of manageable 
comfortable. The recoil isn't too much of an inconvenience. As long as you're not trying to snipe people with it, it should be like, like, I think you need practice with this. If you don't have practice with it, it's going to be very difficult. Um, after a while, the recoil does get pretty manageable and you're going to find yourself having a ton of fun with this gun. Didn't disappoint me, honestly. Uh, really, really enjoyed this. In terms of fun, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. This thing is like really insane once you get the hang of it. All right, so the next gun is going to be the C7A2, a gun that a lot of people are considering probably one of the best guns in the game or best assault rifles, who really knows? Uh, not me, because I don't really follow the meta too much. But yeah, I started out with just under 300 kills with this gun, and I can definitely say this is so worth buying. Like, if you don't have this gun, you could honestly buy this at rank zero, and it would be a perfectly financially stable decision. You know, okay, the damage isn't too great on this gun. That's kind of the one downside of this gun, but everything else is insane. Like, you you have 800 fire rate like you have the most accurate gun you could ever imagine and if you do put on the long barrel and the full stock which is not what i did um i learned about those two attachments after i used this gun but if you put those two on the gun becomes insane the damage ranges increase so much that like you won't even notice the six shot because it starts at about 300 studs it's really just fun to use i would give it also a 10 out of 10 on the fun scale because well it's super accurate and uh it's just really fun and so wrapping up, okay, we have the last assault rifle in the game, and it's going to be the G11K2, a gun that caught me by surprise. So I only started with 207 kills with this gun, have not used it whatsoever, except for a couple videos. The only time I've ever used this gun was for videos. I had so much fun using this gun. I started out really slow. I think I had like a crane sight and I wasn't doing too well, but then I hopped into a desert and then a metro later. This thing can actually be so good. Like, so the thing about it, it's, it's a burst gun. Okay, you don't use this on auto because, well, the fire rate for the burst is 2100 and the fire rate for the auto is 460. So please use this on the burst. You won't regret it. But since it does have a torso multiplier and the damage is 28 at close range, that means you have a three shot to the torso burst at up to 90 studs. And keep in mind, it is a three burst and there's no recoil or like time between the, the three bursts. So the thing about this is if you hit like that first burst, it's an insta kill. So that makes this gun extremely good in the right hand. Hands. I don't think my hands are right for this gun, but I was definitely getting a hang of it. Like I was going on some mad kill streaks during Metro. Like it caught me by surprise. I didn't think I would like using this gun. That's probably because the last time I used it was before it's buff. But yeah, it was just like really cool, you know? So I would really encourage you guys to, I wouldn't say buy it because I don't think it's really that worth it, but it was really fun to use. I'll give it another, I'll give it probably a 9.5 out of 10 on the fun scale. Uh, there's no way I didn't enjoy using this gun. Um, really just kind of a weird gun in my opinion, but one of the most interesting I've seen in terms of play style. But yeah, that was the G11K2, and that's going to wrap up all the assault rifles. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start on the next class, which is going to be the battle rifles. So, if you guys have any suggestions for how I can improve the next episode, please let me know in the comments, because I don't know what the best way to do this is. Also, if you guys have setups, please recommend them to me, because I know in this video, I didn't use the best setups, and yeah, my bad on that, but I don't really know too much, so it's not my fault, you know? But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the video, so hope you guys enjoyed these first two episodes of the series and hope you guys are looking forward to the next ones and yeah i'll see you guys in a bit peace